Let's go. E.T. Let's go terrestrial. We're here with another early access sneaker review video. And today we kind of have a little bit of heat on our hands. Um, very excited to see these. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised I got them early. Um, like I said, we're just gonna have to go ahead and kind of give you what it is. I'm not gonna give you too much detail right now, so let's just go ahead and let's just start the video. All right, as you can see here, it is a Jordan box. Let's go ahead and open it up here. You can see it's like a matte blue, kind of a little bit of a blue box with that gold flake on the front. Then you have the premium card, so therefore you might have an idea what this is. But uh, as you can see, this card was also featured with the other premiums, such as the Pinnacle 1s, the Premium 4s, and the Snakeskin 1s. Um, also comes with this pretty dope uh, uh, dust bag. Uh, it's, it's a blue with the uh, gold gold uh, emblem on there with the flight underneath it. So that was a very nice touch. I'll give Jordan right now. It was a very very pristine bag, very nice, very clean, just perfect. And here's the shoe itself. It is the Jordan 4 Premium Obsidian. So it is a blue shoe. And uh, once I got it in hand, this shoe was, I couldn't complain. The quality was above and beyond. Uh, Jordan Brand absolutely nailed it with this shoe. So let's go ahead and just kind of get a closer look at the shoe here. Actually, it does come with that bronze medal on the side, something you might find if you went to the Olympics. Nice, heavy, true bronze medal there. And you can see it's an all blue upper. It's got the white sole. And you'll see the bronze eyelets there, the four eyelets there, and you'll see the bronze there on the heel tab. And then here's a better shot of the actual sole itself. Just simple, got the blue jump man on the bottom. Here's a little bit of a closer look at the tongue for the most part. It is like a very, very thick quilt. That quilt kind of design on it. Um, with the Air Jordan there on the uh, tongue. Then you have the leather laces. But let's just go ahead and look at the quality of the shoe itself. As you can see here, they went above me on the detailing itself. They got just insane detailing. There's another picture of the, uh, the little hang tag that I said. It's actually got some serious weight to it, so it's not no cheap little hang tag either. They, they put some money into it. You have the Jordan there featured on the heel itself, and there's a little bronze accents on the heel tab. Like, so they got like, the quilt design throughout most of it, and you see like some waves thrown in there. Um, they did away with the, the netting on the side, and just go ahead and just do all leather. And here is the actual leather lace, a little bit closer look. Um, something that I think really kind of makes the shoe stand out when you throw that on there and then have that little bronze eyelet there. But the, the leather this is just so plush and so soft. It is unreal. I mean, I have I mean, I don't think there's another shoe that really kind of compares that I've seen recently. Maybe like the Dons, they might have uh, been better, but what really was surprising was when you go ahead and check out the actual insole. As you can see, I was struggling. That thing was in there and tight as a bitch. I couldn't get that thing out. There you have it. The padded quilted looking insole. It's just insane comfort. I said you can feel just the squishiness of that that insole right there. So that is that's nice because you never see a good insole on a shoe anymore. But like I said, it's got the all leather inside too. So the whole shoe itself, all leather. Unbelievable. It's a real, real plush, real soft. So they call the premium four for a reason. They they absolutely nailed it with the materials. You can't, you cannot you just can't top it. Plain and simple. Unbelievable shoe. Uh, like I said, it comes out September, September 17th. $400. So be select retailers to kind of keep your eye out for that. Um, if you're in a bigger city, you'll have a better luck. But uh, like I said, really, that's, a, that's about it. That's the uh, that's the end of the video. So uh, let us know what you think. Did you, uh, did you like the shoe or not? Um, me personally, now that I got it in hand, saw it. It is you gotta get it. Um, don't sleep. I know it's a steep price point, but you can't sleep on this shoe. Uh, it's it's worth every bit of the $400 for the shoe. But uh, like I said, I'd like to give a shout out to my man Fontaine. He was the one that kind of helped me out, hooked me up with this shoe early. So 
make sure you go ahead and check out his Instagram and stuff like that. It'll be in the description below. So go ahead and give him a follow, hit him up. He's got all kinds of things. Like I said, he, he threw a major assist my way this time, so I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate that big time. It was greatly appreciated, as you can tell. Um, but that's about it. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media accounts. They'll all be in the description below. Like I said, we got our Instagram, Snapchats, Twitters. It's all below. Our Facebook page, put that out there. Um, also, if you like this video, and like I said, we decided to change up the format a little bit, so if you like what you saw, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Um, should we keep doing them this way? We're trying to, trying to mix it up a little bit, so let us know what you think. And I said, let us know what you think about the shoes itself. Is it something that you're going to try to go for or is it not worth that $400? Um, so that's it for today. Like I said, wear what you love. This is Jay Birdie, Soli Grail, signing out.